Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Daily Tips with Monica. I do appreciate you guys for coming. I do appreciate you guys love and I do appreciate you guys support. Um um if you have not hit that like button, please hit that like button. If you want to share me out, share me out. Share me out to all different platforms. I do appreciate you guys for coming. Um please know that whatever you guys support means so much to me and i never want to take you for granted so thank you guys so much um if you have not connected with me please hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not connected to me um what we're going to talk about today guys is is we're going to talk about never ever giving up never give up on those things that you want to do never throw in the towel never allow when you get in a situation where you feel like it's too much and you just want to just quit never quit never give up on those things that you want to do because you can become successful in it and you don't want to feel like and you know you don't want to feel like you have failed because you got upset and you just walked away from it um so don't, go give yourself a chance to win give your chance self a chance to win don't give up on those things you want to do don't ever give up on those things you want to do and always know if you're going to fight for something fight to the end fight until the end so here are some tips guys that can help you that can help you fight till the end so the first thing is make a decision make a decision today that you're going to not give up when you start something that you really want to do make that thought in your mind that you will never quit on this youtube stuff i'm gonna be real it's been plenty of times that i wanted to give up because someone made me upset and said something negative to me or or said something or made a video about me and I'm like you know what I just don't have time for the negativity so I can just go back to my regular life and and, and just be done but you know what I said it set out but if you set out to be successful then you can't quit you cannot quit when you start something make it up in your mind you will not quit and you say, I'm not going to quit no matter what happens, no matter who comes against me. I am not going to quit. This is not a choice for me. I have to push through. Even if I want to quit, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to, I'm going to be successful at this, what I want to do. I am going to fight until the end. I am going to not let anything, like I always tell you, I don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. So, if they didn't give it to you, they can't take it away. So, make a decision to not ever quit when you start doing the things that you want to do. Make a decision. Make a decision today. Whatever you want to not give up on, make that decision that you're not going to give up on it. Make that decision that, you know what, this is what I want to do, and I am going to be successful at it. I am not going to let anything or anyone make me feel defeated. I'm going to be successful at it. The second thing is know why. Y'all, it's, it's, it's a dry, driven force in you that makes you want to pursue your dreams and your goals 
in the things that you are passionate about. And there are reasons, even if you haven't asked yourself what it is that drives you to pick up and try again when you gone off the path. No, no, to know why you are doing what you're doing is a powerful force. Know this, no one likes to lose. And um, most people want to win. And for some people, it's all about the money. For others, it's about fame and the or rewards. For some, it's power, love, or family, or spiritual fulfillment. The, the metrics is relative, but the desire is still the same. So know this, know why you're doing something. If you want to be successful and you never want to give, you made up in your mind, you're not going to quit. Know why you're doing it. If you're doing it for money, then you're doing it for money. Ask yourself why you want to be, why you came on the YouTube streets. Ask yourself that. Ask yourself that. Why you want to be on, why you want to, what made you become a YouTube creator? Ask yourself that. Is it for the money? Is it for fame? Or is it about to have power, love, or spiritual fulfillment? But know why you're doing something. Know why you don't want to give up. Know why you're you're making a decision to push towards some dreams and those things that you're passionate about and the thing and, and pursuing your dreams and setting goals for yourself. So, so know why. I'm gonna tell you why I decided to do this. And I'm and 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 and, 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 and I'm gonna be transparent and I'm gonna be real. Because I wanted something different for myself. And I wanted to be an example for my children. Let them know, even though I am just a, even though I I have a job as a custodian and I don't make much, but I'm driven to make our lives better and, and pursue. You don't have to always, I want my kids to know that they don't always have to be stuck feel like they always stuck at the bottom. You can work your way to the top if you never give up. You don't have to you don't have to limit yourself. And I was, you know, this is what those mother is about, about being family, being an example for my kids, letting my kids know you don't have to limit yourself to just that one thing that where you're at in your life right now. You don't have to limit yourself. This is why I'm doing it. And, and, and also to motivate women, motivate people. I ain't going to say just women. Motivate people to be the best person that you're going to be. Live the best life you're going to live. Living the best life you're going to live. And, and just, just being real and being transparent with you guys. Because I don't want you, I want you guys to know. I ain't on here to take advantage of no one. I'm up. I'm here to inspire. I'm up here to show love and 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 let you guys know those things that you guys go through. I'm one of the women that do go through it too, you know. But I want you guys to know this, and and and, and this is me as Jamel and Jayla Mama. I want to be an example for my kids to let them know that they don't have to be stuck. They don't have to always feel get comfortable living living the if they living the life they're living or being where they're at or feel like they're stuck they always can push through those things and work their way to being successful i want my kids to know that you know what even though my mom was at this place in life my mama worked so hard to get where she's at when i reached the success that I want to reach. So know why you do you want to be successful or be or or 
do those things you're passionate about or changing your job or whatever you want to do. Know why you're doing something, but never give up on it. Never give up on it. Some people may want you to give up on it, but no, don't ever give up on it. Don't ever give up on yourself because you can do it. You can be successful. You can. Just because someone, and, 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 and I'm going to be real, excuse the children, y'all know this mom life, um, just because someone is comfortable in their position in life doesn't mean that you have to be. Listen now, just because someone else is comfortable where they're at in life doesn't mean that you have to be. Let me tell you, till the day you die, you can pursue whatever dream you want to want to pursue, because it's your life. If some some people, if that person is comfortable where they at, let them be comfortable. But if you want more, go after more. You know what I'm saying? Wish them the best. Say if that's where you want to be. I respect that. But me, I'm going after what God wants. I'm, I want more, so I'm gonna have to go after more. I'm gonna push myself for more because I know I can be more. That's what you have to do. So never give up on yourself. The third thing is visualize the end result. If you can see, if you see it, it's already done, but it ain't happened in physical form yet. See yourself or visualize yourself at, at, at the point where you want to be. It's so many reasons why this works, because your mind does not know the difference between what is real and what isn't. So therefore, believes is what it sees most of what we have created has started in our minds and in our thoughts so visualize what you're trying to be successful at visualize the end result visualize yourself being at that place where that peak that you want to be at visualize the end result Visualize um, the things that you want to do and you're going to do. It's all thought with a thought and a dream. And you put it into in, in fruition. So all you have to do is visualize the end results. And then as you visualize the end results and you're working towards those goals, you won't give up. You won't be so easy to give up because guess what? You are already put in your mind what it's going to be like. So why not seek? Why not seek? Why not seek? I have, me, myself, I have, me, myself, I have visualized a lot of things. Now, I, I when I, when I, um, I put it in my mind the goals I wanted to meet before I turned 30. I see I wanted to be married, successful. Um, I want to buy my own home. I wanted to have a boy and a girl. And you know what? I it, um I visualized it. Now everything didn't happen the way that I wanted to happen. Um, but I did buy that house before I turned 30. I did. Now, I didn't get married, but hey, that's fine too. It's, but I know one day it's going to happen for me. Um, The third thing is I did have that boy and that girl. And we are a family. So put in your mind those goals that you want and see the end results. What you see for yourself can happen. It may not go on the way that you want it to go, and you may not be in that place where you thought you was going to be, but some of those things did happen. And me, I thank God for those things that did happen in my life. It molded me into who I am now. Um, so 
everything that you create guys it only starts in your mind and in your thoughts you are the one that can make it happen the fourth thing is don't let a bump in the road in your trip so say for instance you have a, a you get you got a bump is you hit a bump in the road and you get get a flat ha, flat tire and you don't have a replacement and you're trying to go somewhere you think to yourself how am i going to get there it may not be easy you may have to walk it may take you a bit longer than you expected to but if you do it you'll feel that it's not as bad as you thought it was and you found a way to get it done know that every interesting story always comes with a plot twist so know that a bump in the road is not the end of the journey so you have to get creative you just have to get creative and find a way to get around it so don't let a bump in the road in your truck don't let those things that may come up when you're trying to be successful or trying to reach some goals it may you may receive some bumps in the road and you may have to redirect that's fine you may have to redirect it's okay to sometimes go the opposite direction when you try when you're trying to reach something and you trying to go this way go this way about it but it may not work that way and see sometimes it's for your good but you wanted to go your that way but sometimes it's best to just slow down think about it and just ask yourself what is the correct way to go about this thing sometimes you just have to sit back do some thinking like it says and go the opposite right route not right, but route. Um, go the opposite route, and it may take you longer to get there, but the reward in the end is so significant. Significant. Look at the reward. If you go, sometimes when you go the fast lane, for some reason, when I go the fast lane, it don't never work out for me, and it fails. But when I take my time with it. And I just let it happen. And if a bump come in the road, okay, then I need to try something else. Or I need to redirect it to make it a little bit better. And then guess what? It'll start panning itself out. And then the next thing you know, you done made it where you need it to be. And you may feel like it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. So don't never let those bump in the road make you feel like it's the end of your journey and you want to give up it's just a bump in the road and you just got to redirect you know how uh on our phone we get those um we get the navigational system and we may miss the turn it will say redirect redirect that's what we need to do redirect and you'll still end up on the same path and still end up at the same location so don't let a bump in the road do not let a bump in the road in your truck um the fifth thing is the fifth thing is be cocky but in a good way know that you can make anything happen you are a human being and that's kind of like a big deal you started with a winning chance think about a giraffe trying to do what you're trying to do right now um because a giraffe have a long neck he may be able to do some of those things that you're able to do and it might look pretty cool look at a fish and the things that they look at a fish trying to do those things that you're trying to do know that you can do some amazing things but you don't have to be cocky about it you can be 
cog be cognizant in a good way. Just say, I know I can do this, but you don't have to throw it. That's what it's saying, be cocky in a good way. Tell yourself, I know I can do this. I ain't giving up on this thing. But you know what, though? You don't have to throw. You don't have to throw your big deal in someone else's face. That's being cocky in a bad way. But just know that I made this happen. This is what you say in your head. I made this happen. Happen. I'm proud of myself. I did this. I gave myself a winning chance. And I won the race. I won the race. I met my goals. And I received my reward. And you'll feel so good on the inside. So, just um, just be cocky in a good way, knowing that you can make things happen in your life that are good, and you don't have to throw it in no one face. I'm gonna tell you something. You don't. I'm gonna tell you something. People see to your goodness. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I'm going to be 100. People see your worth. People see your goodness. And you don't have to always throw it in your face. They see your success. Sometimes people see your success before you do. That's why you don't need to be cocky in a bad way. Sometimes people see your goodness, see your success for you. And that's a great thing because a lot of people want you to win. You just got to believe in yourself. So that's why you can't ever give up. Don't ever give up on those things that you want to do, those goals that you set for yourself, um, your purpose in life, those um, things you're passionate about. Don't give up on those things. You know, one thing, let me tell you, that's another one of my pet peeves. Don't be throwing stuff with you. Oh, I, I did this and I did, did that. Don't be too, don't throw stuff that you have done or, just, oh, I'm so successful. Oh, I got this. Oh, I, I make this amount of money. I, I got all this type of money in my bank account. That's being real cocky and, and, and it's not cute. But what I said, but what you want to do, you want to be cocky with yourself. Let yourself know. Everybody ain't got to know about the success. Everybody ain't got to know about your success. But be proud of yourself, though. Um, the sixth thing is learn to weather every storm. Be like a captain. Do not abandon the ship. Do not abandon your ship. Learn to weather every storm. Every struggle. And know that it will pass. Know that it will not be easy going. Easy settled. It will not be. When you embark on a journey. But learn as much as you can. Hold on tight for the ride. If you need to adjust the sail, adjust it. And then hold on some more. Know that unexpected situations do happen. But it does not mean that you can't get around. So learn to weather every storm. Every storm in life, guys, learn how to weather those storms. When you, that's here on YouTube, when people, um, come against you and those people you thought you was real cool with and they you thought that they really loved you and they just, you know, making all just, just, just everything just turned bad and it's just like a big storm and you just like, I'm just about to give up on this whole thing 
learn how to ride through the storm. Ride it out. Ride out if you lose some things. Guess, guess, guess what? You will gain those things back. There's always sunshine at the end of a rainbow. So after every storm, there, there is going to be some blue skies. So you have, that's why you have to weather the storm because you already know it's not going to last forever. This, this too shall pass and you'll be like, you know what? I'm not going to let it, this storm that I have make me give up. I'm going to go through every struggle that I have. I'm going to be prepared in my mind that whatever come against me, whatever naysayer or whatever may come, may come, I'm going to be ready for it. And if that means I have to adjust some things or um, I may have to learn more about something, then that's fine. But I'm going to weather every storm. And the seventh thing is, guys, enjoy the ride. Enjoy that ride. When you're going after something that is difficult, it does lead to a lot of stress, worry, anxiety. But know that that is okay. But but and, and, and enjoy those good moments. Because it does not take away from you getting what you want in life. Because it helps you feel better. And it gives you gives you your goal and your passions. And if you need to take a break, take a break. Because guess what? You're going to need them. So enjoy the ride. Whatever that is that you're passionate about or you wanting to be successful at or if a challenging situation happens, enjoy the ride. Enjoy those rides in life that are good. Enjoy those rides. Enjoy those rides that, you know, even though it may be a little difficult, but I can see the end results. I, I'm, um, I can, it makes me feel so good and it makes me feel so happy to know that I'm able to do these things and that I'm able to um, not stress and worry about things. So I am enjoying the ride that I that in life and, and that I'm trying and that goal because I can't give up on it. So I got to enjoy this ride. I can't give up on those things that I want to accomplish. I can't. And I'm not going to allow it. So guys, those are the tips that I do have. I am going to I am going to recap. I'm going to recap, guys. The first thing is make a decision. When you're wanting to uh, do something in life that you're passionate about and you want to be successful at, make sure you make a decision to never quit, no matter if you want to or not. Just say, I'm not giving up on this thing, ever. The second thing is know why. Why are you pursuing this dream, this goal, this thing that you're passionate about? Know why. Third thing is visualize the end result. Visualize whatever you're pursuing. Visualize that end result on how you want it to end and how you want it to be. The fourth thing is don't let a bump in the road in your trip. So you know that you're going to be some bumps in the road. Know that it's gonna be you won't have to dig make a detour, but you're gonna still end at the same place. It may just took you a little longer. But don't let that deter you. Deter you from accomplishing your goals or things you want to be successful. Fifth thing is be cocky, but in a good way. Be cocky with yourself. Be like, yes, I did this. I made this happen. I can do what I set my mind up to do. 
The sixth thing is learn to weather every storm. Don't abandon your ship when there is a storm that came that comes your way. Learn how to ride this storm out. And the seventh thing is enjoy the ride. Enjoy those moments of success. That's really what it means. Enjoy those moments of success. So guys, those are the daily tips that I do have. Um, I appreciate you guys for coming. I just want to let you guys know this. Never give up on the thing that you're passionate about. Never give up on the things that you want to do. Because you can't be successful. At it. I understand that sometimes people come against you and they make you feel like, you know what, I ain't got time for the drama. I ain't got time for these people to come at me. But you know what, if you know you didn't come, I'm going to be honest, this is, I'm going to be real with us on YouTube because we all on YouTube. You didn't come for, to YouTube for other people. You came to YouTube. You came for those negative people. You didn't come to them. You came to the for those people that you can encourage and those people that are going to be your family. You didn't come to YouTube for drama. So don't worry about those drama-filled people. You worry about those people that are like-minded as you. And then, you know what? And then, yes, we do have to decipher through those people. And we do have to um, cut some people off when we thought they were being real, but they wouldn't. But guess what, though? Whatever you lost... You're going to gain back tenfold because your heart is pure. Just know that. You know what I'm saying? Just cut them off and move them about your day. Sometimes we have to not just take everything. Jamel, please stop here, Neil. Okay. Please go sit down. <laughs> Look, go play with your Barbies. Okay, um, let mama finish this. Excuse me, guys. So, go, baby. Anyway, those things that you want to be passionate about, never give up on. Never give up on those things. Pursue them. Pursue those things. If you want to be successful at YouTube, that means you got the people put in the work. Everybody has started from zero. So can't nobody say they just started off big. They didn't, unless they was connected to somebody. But everybody has started in zero. So, guys, those are the daily tips that I do have. I appreciate you guys so much for coming. Um, like I said, if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button. If you want me to talk on a specific topic, please email me at mjjfamily2020 at gmail.com. Um, as well, guys, I have one announcement tonight, tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing a book review on My Panties Clean. If you, I, I'm, I'm trying to give a giveaway, but if y'all haven't read the book, then I can't give away nothing. So if you have read the book, Please come. If you have a come, please come. Still, please come. Um, and y'all just and, and and I hope that with my review, I can inspire you guys to read the book because don't if you have not read, don't let God smell your panties. You can resonate with a woman in that book. And my panties clean. It just it just you it is more in depth on those women. So guys. Um, if you have not hit that like button, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed to me, hit that subscription button. Um, thank you guys so much once again for coming. Um, as well, guys, I just want to let you know this. Um, don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. If they didn't give it to you, they can't take it away. So y'all have a good night. And I'll see y'all tonight.